Let's look at incoming and outgoing payments in SAP Financials. Now if you create a customer invoice and you receive a payment from the customer, you can do a manual posting of that payment. Similarly, if you have made a vendor invoice and you received a vendor invoice and if you are going to make an outgoing payment manually, then it's called a manual outgoing payment. To make manual payments in SAP, you have to follow these three steps. First, you need to enter the relevant data in the document header. Next, you need to select the open line item, which is the customer outstanding payment or the vendor outstanding payment line item. Then you save the transactions. It is quite simple, those three steps, entering the relevant information, selecting the open line item, and saving the transactions. Now posting an incoming payment is for customers. Posting an outgoing payment is for vendors. Because if you have given your customer an invoice and when the customer makes a payment to you, it is an incoming payment. The SAP transaction menu is accounting, financial accounting, accounts receivable, document entry and the transaction code is F-28 for incoming payments. Similarly, if you have created a vendor invoice and you are going to make a payment to the vendor, it's called an outgoing payment. And this is the SAP transaction menu. The short transaction code is F-53. Now for your assignment, Create a customer invoice open item. The short transaction code for this is F FB70. FB70. Then post an incoming payment for the customer invoice created. That is using the short transaction code F-28. Then create a vendor invoice open item. So you create a vendor invoice open item using transaction code FB60. Then you post an outgoing payment for the vendor invoice created. That is using the short transaction code F-53. So following the first two steps, you have created a customer invoice and you have created an invoice payment. That's called the out incoming payment. The next two steps, you create a vendor invoice and you are going to create an outgoing payment. Now let's look at these transactions in SAP to have a better understanding. Now let us create a customer invoice. As you know, the short transaction code for this is FB70. Press enter your keyboard to continue. Okay. Select the customer. Press enter your keyboard to continue. I am using the company code Z123. And let's select this customer hybrid PVT limited, private limited. And let's give an invoice date over here. We can give an invoice reference. Let's give an amount. And let's include G GST of 10%. You can do it without GST also. Now because this is a customer invoice, it's going to be an output tax. So outing GST 10%. I'm just calling it customer invoice testing. You can give any document header text over here. Okay. GL account, I need to specify a sales or revenue account. So I'm just going to search for my company code. and I will use this sales from product A revenue account. Amount, I'm just going to put the asterisk sign. Press enter in your keyboard. Just ignore that message, press enter again. Press enter again, you're just getting some warning messages. And you get the green equal, green equal sign, which is all the debits and credits are equal to zero. A tick sign is over here, and you post this document. Now the customer invoice has been posted. 